Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and yesterday night, or evening, I can't remember quite, it's kind of mixed all together, Marvel put up a trailer for their Cloak and Dagger show. Now, Cloak and Dagger are real small time. Like, if Iron Man's a C-rank, then Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger are Guardians of the Galaxy level small time. Like, I would be surprised if anyone, only reason I know about them is because they made appearances on some of the Spider-Man shows, and they've made um, appearances in other things. So... Um, if you're not familiar with Coke and Dagger, they're a duo, um, they're a duo superhero team. They're lovers, they're a duo superhero lover, lovers, but they have this weird, fucking weird-ass relationship. Like, it's downright strange. It's not like, like, like that's why I kind of am glad to see because their relationship isn't like any other relationship. Like, they have, first of all, Cloak, as his name, is this African-American kid named, I can't remember his name, I can't remember his name, I, um... Uh, when when I do my breakdown of um when I come back and review the um show after the end I'll have it all together but you can look it up yourself. Cloak is is this African American guy and he like and he met Dagger who was this um blonde beautiful popular female girl. It's funny because like um the trailer kind of um did did this justice too because this is how it is in the comics how Cloak is like from the projects. He's this African American guy from the projects. He's got all this talent. He's got all these ability to. to for, to further himself, but he keeps fucking it up, he keeps fucking it up, he doesn't know what he's doing with his life, then he bumps into Dagger, um, the the woman, and she's this beautiful blonde, you know, she's also, she, but she, her family's well off, and like his, his family's mid, you know, middle, you know, about where my family is, like kind of middle, but, um, but she's got a hell of a lot more, but they both, but they're, and it's, a, it's amazing, it's supposed to be that contrast of, it doesn't matter where you come from, like, you can both have this... It's amazing how two people can have the same kind of, basically, experiences and um, what's happening and, like, the same kind of pressures but come from two different, totally, economies, which is kind of, like, a cool little contrast of she's this beautiful, blonde, perfect girl, little, I mean, girl but she's but her parents are all over her, too, about, you know, doing all this. Her parents are pressuring her all over the place about being this and being that and being that. You need to be this perfect person. And she's, like, fuck this, too. And one day they bump into each other. And turn, I, I don't quite, I like, okay, I, I don't, like I said, Cloak and Dagger are so obscure. I don't know the comic version. All I know is Cloak, the black guy, has this awesome coat, he has this cloak, cloak, that allows him to teleport anywhere on the planet. Like that, just on a drop of a hat. That, and it's a portal to the dark dimension. Yes, it's a portal to, you know where Dormammu is? Yeah, it's a portal to that. Except it's like except Dormammu was not aware of it. Like it's like like it's like a portal there. So like he opens that shit up and he can just suck like a thousand guys into this fucking cloak and then close it. And it's like where did they go? You don't want to know. Like apparently, like I don't even know what's in there. Like apparently it's something scary inside that cloak. Like whenever he opens it up, like he, he usually uses it for good, but he's got like this darkness blowing up. But like, dagger, she's got these light daggers and she's like badass and she's. Cause she's, you know, she, cause she's athletically gifted and she can do all these cool things with daggers. But like, it's weird cause they're lovers, but they're like, they like need each other because Cloak needs daggers light and she needs his dark. It's weird. I don't know how, it's weird. But anyway, let's get to this trailer. The trailer actually starts off with what I just described, like showing the different contrast of their lives before they ran into each other, before eventually they collide. And then they're like, hey, and then they kind of, they kind of both hit it off right off the bat. Now, the show's on Freeform, so yes, it's going to be teen drama, which is why I'm hesitant to watch it, because I don't watch that shit. I hate teen dramas, I hate teen movies, except fighter, like, hey, unless there's superheroes in it, so I guess I'm going to watch it. It's Marvel, there's superheroes. I was like, the only way you can get me to watch any teen shit is if, like, you add um, an extra bit of something to it. If you add, like, it's a teen, if you add, like... It's an action. It's a movie about teens doing action. He's talking, or yeah, it's a horror movie with teens in it. Or yeah, it's a horror movie with. But I can't watch these teen drama. Lab, nah, I can't. That that's just too whatever. I'm just like ah, no, no. Can't um, sixteen candles and all that stuff, man. No, mm -mm. Breakfast Club. No, mm -mm. no, can't watch that crap. So hopefully it's not that bad. But. I feel like it's going to be like that in the beginning because they ain't going to just go right off the bat with the whole Coke and Dagger thing. But 
Well, but let's get into the trailer. First, it does that. You, you see them. You see the contrast of their lives. You see the girl dealing with her father and her mother with all these the pressures of being the pressures of being a big wig, the pressures of being rich, the pressure pressures of being the one percent, like that pressure. She's dealing with that pressure. You see him dealing with the pressure of being basically the pride of his family. You know, being this boy that his mother sees like you have a future. Seeing his father, like Ellie, like his mother wants the what's best for him, and you know they live in this bad neighborhood, but he's trying his best. And, you know, he's he's getting into shit because he can't help it because he's got so much anger pent up in him over maybe what's happened to his father because I don't think he really sees his father. So, but you see them bump into each other, like I said, and they hit it off the bat. From what I can tell in the trailer, which is big spoilers, I think, um, which is why, I, I don't know, but I could tell, it seems like something happened when the girl was drowning and he jumped in and saved her and that's when they first met. And, like, they just forgot about it because they were both separated after that. And it's, like, they're, 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 they're these cross lovers, like, some Romeo and Juliet shit going on. They're, like, these cross lovers. But, like, I, like, I don't know. I don't know. But then you start to see glimpses of there's really not much story going on. Like, you just you see glimpses of the power showing up. You see they touch hands again one more time. And, like, something, something like shit just happens between them. Her hand's glowing. He's, like, what the fuck's happening? And then he wakes up in a cloak. And I guess he thought he was in his room, but he wakes up on top of a rock sign building. Good, good East Jag Marvel. On top of a rock sign building in the middle of the city, which he's probably like, what the fuck? And he doesn't know how he got there. She's got these, like, this guy tries to, it looked like this guy's trying to force her into, I don't know, rape her or maybe. And she just like, and a dagger just comes up and something starts glowing in her hand. And I, it looks like she stabbed him with it. And she's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> cloak and daggers, I mean, I'm surprised they're doing it because I'm like, I don't know enough about Cloak and Dagger. I'm probably going to go back and research on Cloak and Dagger, but um, I saw the trailer. It looks interesting. Probably the most underwhelming of all the Marvel's trailers because, I mean, this is the show. Out of all the shows Marvel's working on, this is the show that I have the least most stock in. This is the show that I'm like, um, okay, Cloak and Dagger, um... Okay, I give it a shot. I mean, you're Mar. I mean, it's Marvel. I know these characters. I've seen them in things. I'm familiar with them. I give every comic book movie a shot. I give every comic book show a shot. I don't care if it's DC or whatever. I give every comic book show a shot. So I might as well give this one a shot. You should give it a shot too. Did you see the um, Cloak and Dagger trailer? What did you think about it? Are you gonna give it a shot? I know you never probably heard of these guys, but give it a shot. So thank you for joining me in the Comedy Movie Show, and I'll see you in the next one.